back to Aria. Still blind, still begging. And here he is, she is, he is, again. Man, she just does not stop. She just wants to go for it. Come on, Arya. God damn, this is tough. A girl has no name. If a girl says her name, the man will give her eyes back. A girl has no name. So Leave. mysterious and. That girl is not a beggar anymore. But she's playing the game. She knows how to do things. I think she's figured out all the tests that he's putting her through. Lady Walder has given birth. A boy. Red oh dear. And healthy. My congratulations, Lord Bolton. That's disheartened Ramsay a bit. But I think it might have motivated him. Congratulations, Father. I look forward to meeting my new brother. You'll always be my firstborn. It means a great deal to me. What the fuck? Ramsey! Holy shit! What the fuck? How did he die? Poisoned by his enemies. You're talking to your lord. Use respect. Forgive me, my lord. Well, that was one way to become the Lord. Jesus Christ. Like, I know Ramsey's twisted, but he will do fucking anything to get what he wants. What a psychopath. Don't say... What is Ramsey. he gonna do? Where is your father? Ramsey. I am Lord Bolton. He's your brother. I prefer being an only child. Come on! Jesus! Ramsey is so messed up! Theon is just so broken still as well. Where will you go? Jesus Christ. I would not want to be walking across there. No, thank you. Who's that? Your time. Is that his brother? Another rule. Who is that? I heard you lost your mind. What kind of an ironborn loses his senses during a storm? I am the storm, brother. The first storm and the last. And you're in my way. There's a lot of death this episode. 
Goodbye. Shit. Everybody's dying. You were right all along. The Lord never spoke to me. Shit. Fuck them, Ben. Fuck all of them. They're going to do something, and I really hope it works. And I'm glad I, I assumed correctly. I actually thought I was just over, like, overthinking or hoping too much that the possibility of the red woman, Lady Melisandre, would actually do something. And now it's happening. I feel like I know Game of Thrones bit, a little bit too well now. Or do I? I didn't expect all the deaths this episode. <laughs> This better work. Come on. God damn. I guess that's that then. Well, I had some hope. It was worth a try. I'd, I'm not into a magic, that kind of stuff, but it was worth a try. <gasps> yes! Holy crap. I did, oh. oh. That's good news. Damn. I just accepted that he was just dead. And that was it. I just accepted it. And then the scene kept on going a little bit longer. And I came a bit suspicious. Holy crap. He's back. The magic worked. After all that time of him being dead as well. That's legit. Well, it's not legit, but it's legit in the Game of Thrones universe. Fuck. So not only did we have, like, just a whole shed load of death in this episode. But we had somebody really major to the story and major to us come back to life that's buzzing that's wicked the people that died anyways it was evil and um whatever but f <laughs> Roose bolton deserved to die ramsey deserves to die but Roose bolton deserved to die his wife and ramsey's new brother even though they didn't deserve to die we didn't really know them it was cruel and evil of ramsey to do that especially in the way that he killed them but we didn't really know them and we we didn't really like the uh, Theon's father anyway. We didn't like him that much. He was a bit of a dickhead, so he deserved it as well. But then we had somebody really awesome come back to life that we really, really love. And that's... Oh, I can't even put into words how happy that's made me. You guys said there's never a happy ending, but that was a very happy ending. Unless that's not the end and there's worse to come. But that seems to me like a happy ending to an, uh, to an episode. You guys are lying to me saying there's never a happy ending. That was really good. I can't even explain how thrilled I am that he's alive because I thought I was just over, like, overestimating what the Red Woman could do. I was hoping too much, I think. I, th I felt like I was hoping too much for something good to come of it. It's really difficult to kind of explain because I got, I, I guessed right, which I didn't think I would do, but I guessed right and I thought that the Red Woman could potentially do something. I didn't know if that was ever going to happen or if they were genuinely going to do anything, if they were just going to accept that John's dead or whatever. But I guessed right, and I felt like I was just hoping too much for something good to come of it. Because it, John is such a major character in Game of Thrones, and I know that Game of Thrones are happy to kill off whoever they bloody want. Luckily for me, I could just go straight from the end of Season 5 where he died into Season 6. So I didn't quite have the year of grieving like everybody else had. But what an ending. I'm happy. He's back. And now revenge. And he can rule 
again. And Sansa is going to Castle Black. And he won't be dead anymore. Which is good stuff. Really happy about that ending. Really, really liked that episode. It was full of twisted storylines and evil and happy things. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the episode as well. If you did, make sure you click like down below. If you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to also click the notification bell so then you will be notified of all my uploads. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again next time and very, very soon. Goodbye.